What's up everyone? Kuru here from My Tennis HQ. Hope you guys are doing great. And today we're going to do something we haven't done in a while. Racket review. Not even a racket review, it's a full-on uh, lineup review. And it's the new 2021 V-Core Pro lineup from Yonex that just came out. I've had this racket for a few weeks now. Uh, took kind of my time to, to make this video because I really wanted to get to know each racket. So I want to share my thoughts with you. Uh, I will go through each racket, um, kind of brief pros and cons, things that I like, things that I don't, and also recommend which player I believe uh, it's more suited uh, for each racket. Um, they're definitely different frames for different players, and, and I think um, my goal with this video is to uh, help you make a more informed decision on whether you should buy one of these rackets or not. But besides that, let's jump right to it. First, I want to talk about what's actually new with the entire lineup, not just each individual racket, but what Yonix has gone for uh, with this new lineup, with this new update. All right, the first change, obviously, is the color, which is, I believe, very polarizing. Uh, a lot of people don't like it. I saw in comments, but I think a lot of people do. I, at first, didn't really like it. I was like, what's going on here? Is why there's too many colors. Um, but after a while playing with it, I actually, especially with this string, uh, that sort of makes it, I now love it. I straight up love the, the vibe of this racket. It gives me like 80s vibes, kind of retro, retro feeling. Now, besides the color, there are two major upgrades to the V-Core Pro lineup this year. The first one is that every stick, every frame is about a millimeter thicker than previous generations. So, um, you can actually feel it in the hand that is a bit thicker. First time I picked it up, I was like, ooh, this is a, a little bit thicker racket. But um, I think the thought process is that a little bit thicker frame will help help with pop and with the stability. So you got a little bit more power, but also uh, makes the racket a bit more stable, which I actually found uh, to be true, which I'll talk about in a second. And number two, Yonex added two new materials called Flex Force and Flex Fuse to the composition of this racket. What Yonex told me is that all of the, the rackets in this lineup are about 36% more flexible than, than previous generations. Uh, so they wanted to add a bit more comfort uh, to, to this racket, even though it's a player's racket and you get a lot of feel, you get a lot of connection with the ball, uh, having uh, that little thicker beam coupled with um, a bit more flexibility uh, makes it a good balance between a lot of feel, a lot of precision, um, but still being comfortable on on the arm. Now, all that marketing terminology sounds all great, you know what I mean? You, you read that and it's like, oh, this is gonna be the perfect racket for me. But realistically, um, you gotta try the racket to see how it feels, and that's what I did. Um, and I wanna talk about each racket individually, starting with this one, the 97H. First, let's get it out of the way. This is a heavy racket. A 330 grams unstrung, once you put string and dampener and maybe like a leather grip on it, is going to be you know north of 350 grams uh, strong so not a racket for everybody if you want to play with this racket you have to be able to handle the weight of it um, myself um, I struggle I, I even struggled a little bit uh, playing with this racket I am playing with something a little bit more lighter now that I've gotten used to it so when I moved up uh, to this this racket it definitely felt a bit sluggish um, not in a terrible way it's more like me being used to a lighter racket than, than anything it doesn't feel like it's a, just a normal uh swing speed for a very heavy racket uh, but you got to keep that in mind if you are looking to get one of those new v cores if you like playing with heavy rackets uh, this is a good option but you got to be able to handle it now how does it perform well from the baseline it's a very very solid racket it is exactly where you're thinking it is, right? It's a heavy racket, it has a lot of plow through, it's aimed at control, it's, it's a racket that gives you a lot of control, but if you can handle the weight, if you can really swing through the ball um, with this racket, it will give you some major power. It, it's, the ball is going to move through the court, you're gonna feel the weight of the, your opponent is going to feel the weight of the ball if you're able to, to swing this racket with like nice full strokes. Um, I personally love the way uh, because it's a bit heavier as well you can redirect pace you can absorb pace very well that's something that i like on my game and just overall from the baseline um, it is a quality stick but it does require 
um, a, I, I believe a little bit higher levels. One thing I need to point out is that maneuverability isn't great. Again, it's a heavy racket, so you've got to keep that in mind, especially m more amateur players uh, that you might feel great when you're hitting with it down the middle, but make sure you go and play some points, have someone put, your, put you in, in tough situations to see if you can handle the weight and can maneuver the racket around. I can, um, even though I struggled a little bit at the beginning, but I, I know most amateurs might struggle with this, so keep that in mind. At the net, this thing is amazing. Uh, I love heavy rackets for volleying, so I, I think a lot of people uh, who love going to the net like that as well, and this is awesome. It's like out of the, all the four rackets I tested, this is the best racket at the net. I love that it. it's stable, it's precise, there's a lot of control, so great performer at the net here. For serving, it's also a good racket, has a lot of plow through, it's precise. Um, it's actually fairly easy on the arm as well, not just for serving, but in general. Um, get, you can get a lot of top spin on the second serve, that 16, 19 uh, string pattern does help you uh, get a little bit more top spin. So great, great racket for serving all around. Uh, not really many complaints um, with this frame. Overall, I really like this frame. Um, I think what they did with the thicker beam and added flexibility does make this racket a bit more uh, easy uh, and accessible for more, more people. I, I know the older ones can, can be a little bit intimidating with the weight and the way it feels. So this is actually definitely a more uh, friendly racket than previous generations. However, this is not a racket for everyone. Um, I'd recommend this frame for players who one are a bit more advanced, have better, have good strokes already. Uh, don't rely too much on whipping the racket, like too much top spin. Like to play a little bit more through with plow through. You're gonna get top spin here, but you don't need to like force it. So um, someone who plays maybe a bit more linear, likes to go to the net, likes to play a bit more aggressive, but wants to control uh, from the racket. Okay, so moving to the 97D, which used to be the 97HD. Um, this is the racket that fits my game the best out of the bunch. My biggest complaint with the older version is that it felt really sluggish. I had a hard time swinging the racket around. I don't know why um, it, it, w it wasn't the heavy or anything, but I, I just had a, an issue with like feeling like the racket was really slow and this new one definitely fixes that in my opinion. So on ground strokes the 97D uh, feels very very comfortable especially for a racket that's 18, 20. I, I, I really like the way it feels. Uh, it was easy on the arm. I was able to get a lot of plow through. It didn't feel sluggish anymore. I, I actually felt like I was swinging the racket, whipping the racket fairly easy through the air so the adjustments they made to the racket really kind of helped with the, the issues that I that I had um, on the previous generation. It is definitely a racket aimed at control uh, but if you go at it full swing it you're gonna be rewarded with good power with good with good top spin so um, obviously the 1820 string pattern isn't for everyone but once I especially on my on my case once I adjusted to the lower launch angle and got maybe under the ball a little bit more I was able to hit the ball consistently deep um, without really thinking that my ball was gonna fly uh, and go go out I think that 19 16 19 it's, it's always in my head a little bit where the 18 20 gives me that confidence of like really swinging out I play a bit more flat at the net the 97 HG also performed really well uh, I really enjoyed how um, I was able to really feel the ball on my strings and had a lot of control so I really could stick the volley. So overall, solid stick uh, for someone who wants to, to go to the net a lot. And for serving, this is definitely my favorite racket uh, from the, the four here that we're talking about today. Uh, I love the previous one for serving and this one is kind of the same. It's a bit lighter than, than the H. Uh, so for me, it makes it a bit easier to swing through the air, but you still get a lot of plow through. And, and if you have a decent technique, um, this racket is definitely going to help you hit uh, great serves. So my favorite here of the bunch, big serves, precise, um, really enjoy this racket for serving. All around for my game, this is definitely my favorite racket of the four. Uh, it suits my needs really well. Um, I really value feel, control, and stability, those are things that for my game, I, I need to fully trust the racket and the 97D definitely helps me with, uh, with all that. That being said, kind of like the, the 97H, it is not the, a racket for everyone. 
Um, I still think it's more of an advanced racket uh, for, for players who, who do have better, stre better strokes already, um, who you know, are able to use the racket as a tool a little bit better. I think a lot of players um, at a lower level need more help from the racket than th this 97D would give them. So make sure you keep that in mind, but obviously give it a try. It's all personal preference. Um, I just think there might be some better options for lower level players. Okay, so moving over to the VCorp Pro 97. This is a record that is way more accessible to a lot more players. With the 97, you get that VCorp Pro feel, but in a much more friendly package. The lighter weight made it a bit easier for me to swing the racket through the air. It's a faster racket than the other two um, to swing through, which gave me a bit more top spin on my shots. Um, that up and down shape trajectory that a lot of people are looking for. More topspin isn't something that I am particularly looking for, but if you are uh, looking for a bit more extra topspin, but without sacrificing too much of uh, that kind of player racket feel, this is a great option. The racket is very maneuverable, and even though it's a bit lighter, it, it didn't feel unstable. Obviously, uh, I, like a, I would like it to be a bit heavier, so there, there are other options here, but if you are someone who plays around that 310 grams, um, weight, this is a very, very good option from the baseline. At the net, the 97 performed really well. Um, it has a lot of feel, um, it's precise. It could be a bit more stable, but that's just the weight. Um, I personally prefer heavier rackets, so that's, that might be a personal choice here. But overall, it's a good performer, performer at the net. And for serving, it's also a very good frame. Um, it's easy to swing through the air, so if Racket head speed on the serve is something that you're looking for. I think this is a good option. Um, it's obviously not as powerful as the heavier rackets, but you can get a lot of top spin. And you know, if you do have a very lively arm, uh, I think sometimes a lighter racket is actually better for you. So great, great option from for serving. Overall, I really like the new V Core 97 as well. I, I have a lot of my players play with the, this this racket actually, the V Core 97, um, and they've been testing it out and, and enjoying it as well. Um, more more juniors and stuff so uh, this is a solid upgrade um, it's not really for me I like heavier rackets I like uh, rackets that give me a little bit more plow through than this one does but in general this is a first a good weight uh, so you can customize the racket and sort of tailor it for uh, your own needs as well so if you want it to be a bit heavier not too much heavier but a bit heavier play around with the weight a little bit I think this is the more uh, this is the best racket of the bunch here, so you can kind of make it your, your own a little bit more. Uh, but great, great racket, um, and I think you should try it out. And for most people, this is probably the best option of the lineup. And lastly, the VCore 100, which is a racket I never played with. I don't, I don't have any baseline or anything to compare, compare it with. But I was pleasantly surprised with this one. It's obviously 100 square inches. It's aimed more, you know, at intermediate lower level players who are um, looking for something that has a lot of feel but a lot of control as well and I really enjoyed it from the baseline it provides a lot of control uh, the sweet spot is gigantic so you, you it feels great um, most shots uh, but it still gives you some feedback so it's not not kind of like a muted dead racket and it couldn't it can be considered a bit underpowered for certain players so if you don't feel like you have a lot of power on your strokes, uh, you might want to avoid this one. But overall, I, I really liked, liked it from the baseline. So with the bigger head size and sweet spot and lower weight um, and a lot of control, I actually think this is the head speed of the Yonex lineup. It's a racket that swings through the air pretty quickly, that gives you a lot of control. Um, and it's just all around a good racket that you can customize it, you can kind of make your own as well. Um, I think the speed does a great job at being sort of like the jack of all trades. And I think this VCore um, 100 sort of does a similar thing here where it, it gives you a lot of control, gives you a lot of um, swing speed, and but it doesn't feel like, like an afterthought. It, it, it's still a, a racket that Yonex put thought into it and are trying to like, compete with a, a racket kind of like the head speed. The net, the 100 is okay. Um, again, it's to ex be expected. A racket is this light at 300 grams uh, won't necessarily be the most stable 
um, at the NAT, but it still has good feel, kind of that, again, like that V-Core Pro lineup feel, so it gives you the good amount of feedback. And again, if you're, if you're used to playing with a record um, at around, around 300, uh, I think it will probably be better than most records in that range. Like, I, I, like a, a head speed for volleying, the, the, the light version of the head speed, ugh, no. So I think it's better than that. And for serving, it's sort of the same thing. Um, not necessarily mind-blowing for serving, but still really comfortable, really precise. You can swing through the air very easily. Great for, for adding some slices, some kick serves on it. Um, I might like a little plow through for the flat serve, but overall still a good option um, for serving. Overall, I do like this racket. It's obviously not for my game, but I think if you're the kind of player who's looking to maybe dip your toes in the V-Core Pro lineup, and the other three frames might seem a bit scary, a bit, a bit too, you know, advanced for you. I think this is a great way to to start your journey uh, with the Vcore Pro lineup. Uh, like I said, it's it gives you a lot of control. It has a lot of good, a lot of feel. It's a solid option, um, and it's you know light, maneuverable. All the qualities that, like I said, I, I like the head speed for for most amateurs. I usually recommend the head speed for a lot of for a lot of players, and I think uh, this is a racket that I can recommend uh, for a lot of people more than I would recommend maybe a Babylon or something like that. So um, they've done a good job here to m making a racket that's going to be suited for a lot of players, um, and I think you should try it out. It, it might be uh, the V Corp Pro that you were waiting for.